Good evening, I'm Alicia Malone and tonight's programming on TCM is dedicated to Cary Grant. He passed away on November 29, 1986, that's yesterday, 35 years ago, leaving behind the indelible image of a suave, elegant, handsome gentleman of a movie star. It's near impossible to sum up the influence he's had on cinema with a huge variety of performances over four decades, many of which have since become iconic. He never won a competitive Oscar, but was twice nominated and received an honorary Oscar for his career. As screenwriter Peter Stone said in his Oscar acceptance speech for our next movie, my deepest thanks to Cary Grant, who keeps winning these things for other people. The film is Father Goose from 1964, directed by Ralph Nelson. This came at the end of Grant's acting career, his second to last movie, and at this time Grant was interested in switching up his image and playing someone who was completely rough, gruff and selfish. His character is Walter, an alcoholic loner who is roped into helping the Australian Navy during World War II. Walter is placed on an island as a lookout for enemy planes, but finds himself with more company than he wanted when he's forced to rescue a teacher and some students. For the role of the teacher, Grant had wanted Audrey Hepburn, but the part went to his next choice, Leslie Caron, and they're great together. Cary Grant had just made Charade with Audrey Hepburn, written by screenwriter Peter Stone, when he came across the script for Father Goose. The screenplay had been written by Frank Tarloff, based on a story by S.H. Barnett, and Grant took this script to Stone, who reportedly told Grant if he committed to this character, a drunk, disgusting, irascible, misanthropic curmudgeon, I'd do the picture. Well, Grant did commit, and looks like he had a ball. Also with Trevor Howard, his rumpled Cary Grant in Father Goose. Cary Grant was very involved in the making of Father Goose, buying the rights to the Frank Tarloff screenplay, hiring the producer Robert Arthur, bringing on the screenwriter Peter Stone to do rewrites, and choosing Leslie Caron as his co-star. And when it came to the music, Grant also knew exactly who he wanted, composer Cy Coleman. Coleman was nervous to meet Cary Grant, but said Grant was exceedingly warm. He told me he knew every song I had written, Coleman said, and then sang them to me. I was dumbfounded. I left there about five feet off the ground. And as they left a different meeting, Coleman was inspired to write the Father Goose theme song, Pass Me By, when he watched Cary Grant walk ahead of him on the street and noted his jaunty tempo. And we have plenty more Cary Grant for you on TCM tonight. I'll be back after this quick break to introduce one of his most romantic movies, a 1957 remake of Love Affair, also starring Deborah Carr.